Uh, I'm Lynn Wyatt, I'm the Deputy Chief Nurse for uh, Furness General Hospital. They entail a team of nurses and governors uh, visiting wards and departments uh, to look at the uh, general environment and uh, talk to patients about their experience and to check general cleanliness on the ward. So when, since you've been back in, um, in Barrow and Furness, how's the, how's the care been? Absolutely top class in every way. Okay. I couldn't say that strong enough. We hope to uh, be able to talk to patients about their experiences and we hope to be able to give staff on the ward some feedback about what it feels like to walk onto their ward and to be a patient on their ward. Comments from the patients have been quite similar. Overall, there's been a very good satisfaction with the hospital. They would all recommend it. Um, this would be the first point of call that they would like to come. They wouldn't want to go anywhere else. So it's been nice to hear that. We start off uh, with the team that are going to undertake the inspection uh, meeting together for a debrief and we agree who's going to do which bit of the inspection. Uh, the inspection actually has three parts to it. First impressions when you go on the ward, general cleanliness and patient experience. We specifically asked governors because we thought it was really um, it's key to getting the patients to talk to a non-clinical person about their experience. Uh, generally patients will say to nurses that the care is good and um, we wanted to give them the opportunity to share some of that experience in an honest and open way. Uh, we want to, uh, I've already said about um, you know, in sort of reviewing the standards on the ward, uh, giving some immediate feedback to the, uh, to the ward staff but also we want to be able to assure ourselves within the organisation that the standards in our wards and departments are of the highest standards that they can be. All the nurses, and I've seen a lot of nurses in the week, have changed I can't believe how good they are, how competent in, right. in every way. Yeah, and I'll make sure that's get, that gets fed back to the nurses as well. As well as providing feedback and uh, making improvements uh, from lessons learned from the reviews, um, we want to uh, improve the standards that we provide uh, for the patients who use our services. There are two ways, uh, well several ways we're going to provide feedback. Um, while we're on the ward, if we see anything that's of any concern, we'll provide immediate feedback. If a patient raises any concerns, we'll uh, deal with that at the time. The ward manager or the nurse in charge will, will be given immediate feedback by the team before we leave the ward. The executive chief nurse will uh, write to each ward's, ward manager to give them direct feedback about the results of their visits. Patients have been saying that the staff have been doing an excellent job, even though they see that they're rushed because they may be short of staff, or, um, but they said they still make time to talk to the patients, which is important. I think this is an important process because it just helps to highlight and improve quality of care for patients, patient experience and also helps to standardise across the country if this goes further, just to make practice more approachable, more friendly and highlight things that are going well. The two aims of the review are to identify good practice and share that good practice amongst other departments and to identify lessons learned uh, both from good practice and things that aren't um, quite as at the standard we expect them to be.